Well, Sverige is a retard. But That's the request that. that I'm going to be reviewing an interview of the vegan doctor called Dr. Klepper. It was an interview by Plant Based News. We just ask you some quick five questions to get your opinions on some topics. Okay. What's the most surprising health benefit you've discovered from a plant based diet? How much better people feel when they're about- Dr. Klepper, how old is he? I think he's in his mid 70s or early 80s at this point. Yeah, he's 76 years old. So, uh. He looks like he's 76 years old. So. I was working on a daily basis. The whole universe looks better to them. It means that he must go to the toilet more often, which means that he's eating more indigestible food, which makes sense because he's eating more fiber, which is indigestible. Okay. What's the biggest myth about plant based eating that you'd like to debunk? Uh, that you can't get enough protein on a plant based diet. Meat, dairy, and eggs. Plants don't have a lot of amino acids such as creatine, carnitine, and so on. Those are only found in meat. Of course, the vegans will... Creatine is not an essential amino acid. ...say that uh, you can get those amino acids by converting them yourself, but we have studies showing that humans cannot do that. And the reason humans cannot do that, they can, but... Uh, if you couldn't produce creatine endogenously, you'd die. Very, very little. It's simply because that's what we are not naturally supposed to do, seeing as we always used to eat meat. Vegan diets were invented uh, not long ago, really just started in around 2010. That's when it got popular. Of course, the human body cannot and will never be able to do it. Which means that you cannot get enough protein on a vegan diet. What's the best plant-based food to include in your diet if you're going to keep eating animal products? Dark leafy green vegetables. You have something dark and green every day. You have a big salad every day. What's the... How does that make any sense? Green leaves are exactly what humans don't eat. In nature, we stay away from green leaves. Green leaves are toxic. <laughs> it's just the stupidest recommendation out of all. There is no such thing as a health... So, uh, people who eat more green vegetables live longer. Feed vegan food. But if anything, that you should be eating fruits. Most underrated plant-based protein. Oh, everything from the legume family. Pulses in your country, beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils, anything that goes in a pot. Full of protein and wonderful phytonutrients and fiber. Phytonutrients are so-called plant nutrients. Humans can't use them. Fiber is indigestible. They generally have pretty much no nutrients. There's anti-nutrients also. And protein inhibitors, which means that you cannot uh, digest the protein and absorb it as easily. And there's not much to begin with. It's just horrible. And it destroys your gut on top of that. Uh, they are horrible for the gut. Uh, they cause digestive issues, gas, bloating, even pain. Nourishing microbiome, uh, legumes, also, uh, those are the most underrated but valuable plant foods that's available. Plant based fats in the morning, the afternoon, or not at all? During the day, uh, but in modern amounts, out of whole foods, out of avocados and walnuts and flax seeds, not out of glass bottles. If you were trying. The guy is looking incredibly weird, uh, really skinny. It's all red here. The eyes are sunken in. Just look at the neck. Uh, I don't know how old he is. He is 76 years old. It doesn't really matter how old he is because he just looks sick. He could be 100 years old, it wouldn't matter. He doesn't look like he's old, as if he's aging. He looks like he's degenerating. It's typical. Yeah, that's kind of what aging does to you. Vegan uh, degeneration. To lose weight, in that category, yeah, then you want to separate out to the greatest extent possible the fats from the carbohydrates. So uh, if you have your carbohydrates. Where's the normal moderator from Plant Based News? Who is this guy? I haven't watched this channel in probably years. I just don't know. Just, just, both of them don't look right. In the morning, you have your cereals, you have baked potatoes, you have lunch there. One is overweight from what it seems like, and the other one is underweight. It's as if vegans can't have a normal weight. <laughs> but uh, if you're going to be having fats, the walnuts, and the avocado, put it on your salads, wear a tahini dressing on your body in the evening, but uh, serve them with a low carbohydrate meal. Almond milk, oat milk, or no milk? Oat milk. What scientific fact do you believe could convert even the most stubborn meat eater? If you have children or grandchildren and want them to have a livable world, then see the harm that industrial animal agriculture is inflicting upon your children. Realize that we've used meat eating up, we use fishing up. It's time to go plant based if you care about the future. What's Why can't he give one example? He says that it's bad for this earth, but in what way? <laughs> Plant farming is incredibly bad. That's the reason the Amazon forest is being cut down. But what's wrong with animal farming, animal agriculture? One uh, No, the rainforest is being cut down for meat production. I don't know where he got that idea. With animal-based foods that most doctors are in denial of. No one eats raw meat. Uh, very active cooking. What? Nobody eats raw meat? Okay, one second. What do we have here? Um, it's not cooked, uh, is it? No, it's a bit um, dry aged, you could say, on the outside, but you can most certainly see that's raw meat, right? I've been eating raw meat for over eight years now. I don't even count it anymore. It's not as if I'm on a diet or I'm counting the years. That's what the vegans do. The vegans count. Uh, is it uh, two months, three months? Okay, yeah, I've been doing it for that long. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. More fake meat, uh, more nuts and seeds. Uh, no, I'm not losing muscle mass. It's just uh, in my head. I need more nuts and seeds. It's all seeds anyway. <laughs> And if they get to one year, wow, I've been vegan for one year, two years, maybe even three. And then they, of course, give up. They already give up long before three years. I've been vegan for 13 or 14 years. Yeah, it's either 13 or 14. Um, 
How long is Sparage even being on this carnivore thing? I don't even think he's been doing this carnivore shit for as long as I've been vegan. Years. Pretty much nobody can take it for three years. They already start eating, eating eggs and cheese on the side by that time. Point being, uh, I don't feel like I'm on a diet where I'm forcing myself to eat a certain way. I'm simply eating exactly what I want to eat. And when vegans eat their vegan diet, they don't eat what they want to eat. They have strong cravings for meat. They want something else. That's a huge difference. You can uh, eat naturally, and that's what humans eat in nature. Humans in nature eat raw meat. Tons of examples of this uh, everywhere. Still today, uh, Siberia, Ethiopia, Japan, uh, people eat raw meat everywhere. Even in Europe, uh, in the restaurants, you will find people eating uh, steak tartare, sushi, sashimi, pretty much everybody on earth eats that. All of these people who say that uh, they don't want to eat raw meat, no, no, raw meat, what? No, I'm not going to eat raw meat. The next day, they go and eat sushi with their friends. Literally raw meat. <laughs> They're not even aware of what they are eating. Animal muscle, uh, boiling a steak, grilling a burger, frying a chicken oxidizes the cholesterol in the animal's muscle, and then when you eat it, the surge of oxidized cholesterol flows through the bloodstream, penetrates to the walls of the arteries, and sets off. Oxidized uh, cholesterol is actually bad for you. Absolutely, I agree with this. Ajnus Wonder Planets also talked about this. He was somebody who promoted. Uh, Sojournus Wanderplanets, I think, died of a stroke when he was uh, like 54 or something. I don't even know how to spell his Didn't name. Didn't he almost die from meeting a squirrel? I... Uh, no, he almost died from eating raw bone marrow. That's what gave him the infection. That almost killed him. Thanks for the donation, Grand Dam. Uh... Sojournus... Vonderplants... Raw meat? Something like that? What? How do you... Uh, these stupid foreign names. Uh, Vonderplants... Raw meat diet? I don't know. Uh, uh, Ajunus Vonderplants. There we go. Um, April 17th, 1947 to 2013, so 2013 minus 1947. Fuck, um, fuck. Yeah, he was 66, and I think he died of a stroke. Oh no, in 2013, at his farmhouse in rural Thailand, he fell through a faulty balcony rail and died a few days later. Okay, I thought it... thought it was a stroke or something, but it was an accident. What did raw meat? He's not around anymore. I learned a lot from him. And um, it's very clear that you should be eating uh, cooked foods in general, not cooked plant or animal foods. Nothing's going to for the cooked animal muscle. The, most the plaque is mostly made out of hardened vegetable oils. Don't lie. It has been analyzed. Ethrogenic uh, in the Western diet, but we think it's essential. It's certainly not. What's the most delicious plant-based dish you've ever eaten? Oh, my. Um, uh, my wife's Buddha bowl with uh, some barbecue tempeh uh, in there. Barbecue tempeh as in meat cravings. Your favorite plant-based dish is one that has meat imitations in it. <laughs> Bravo. Thanks for admitting. Tempeh is not a meat imitation. Eating it. Or, and, um, and brown quinoa, which I really enjoy. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you enjoy brown quinoa. Why don't you try eating it raw then <laughs> in its natural state? If you like it, or even if you cook it, do you eat it uh, plain without any sauces? I doubt it. If you could grow an unlimited supply of a plant-based food in your backyard, what would it be? Uh, the kale or broccoli would be green without question. Yeah. Yes, of course, uh, broccoli, a flower, literally a flower. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's what you want. You want an unlimited amount of broccoli. That's what human... This Dollar General Joe Dirt looking motherfucker whose forehead needs its own area code is such a joke. It's amazing there are over 75,000 retards that actually subscribe to his channel. This planet really is filled with idiots. Fuck it, get high. Well, he had even more subscribers on his main channel before it got deleted. It's insane. Um, he still has followers and supporters even after he tried to murder his ex-girlfriend and shit. It's... He, uh, he's also in support of child rape. Like, he's literally said raping children is a good thing. So, I don't know how the fuck this guy has anybody who supports him, but his community is filled with the most fucked up retarded degenerates imaginable. Thanks for the donation, Vegan Ninja. What are you animals- 
being sprayed naturally, green flowers. It tastes so wonderful, right? Makes you crave more flowers, kale, the oxalates in the kale, the kidney stones. <laughs> we used to have this uh, campaign to the Dairy Association got milk, but uh, now they've got kale. How do you think the future of plant-based eating will evolve over the next decade? It's going to become more widely accepted um, for all sorts of reasons. The price is going to come down. Uh, there's going to be more uh, acceptance of this um, among celebrities and sports. Yes, exactly, because it's an agenda. Of course, they are going to be pushing fake meat, lab-grown meat, and so on. This is all coming. You didn't understand that you fell into an agenda? That you're part of pushing the agenda of a lot of governments? Oh, you really didn't get it. <laughs> I hope that you now understand. That's what veganism is about, by the way. You are being used, your tools, to push an agenda. I hope that you get it now, at last. After... 80% of the vegans from five years ago even have quit already because of health issues. Sports stars that are going to be going plant-based and treating good and talking about it on social media. Yes, that's why the celebrities, even though they were probably paid to promote it, still ended up quitting. Which celebrities still eat a vegan diet from years ago? Maybe there is one, maybe there's two. But uh, again, in this case, even over 90% of them have quit. Over 80% of the YouTubers quit and over 90% of the celebrities that are promoting a vegan diet have quit ever since. How does that not tell you that it's not the right diet for humans? That's right. And the young people who have this great environmental awareness, uh, when it dawns on them that that meat-based burger they're eating is destroying the forest, the, the, the kids are going to stop eating it. And it's just going to become more and more naturally accepted. It's going to be more and more good to restaurants, more and more uh, restaurants going plant-based. Uh, and it'll just kind of quietly... Yes, because they are pushing an agenda. They are buying up the farmland. They are forcing people out of no, their farms, no, literally, because it's going on in rules. Europe. In some places in the US already, that's what's going on. <laughs> people are not willingly changing to a plant-based diet. It's literally the government's forcing them to do it. Yeah, from the bottom up, not from the top down. The government's not going to mandate. Uh, no one is forcing anybody to be on a plant-based diet. The government will follow our buying yachts and all the corporations. So is it. It's not at all like that. The government dictates what you can buy. <laughs> the <go> uh, <laughs> is he saying that the government listens to what the people want? As if the government is for the people? Is he actually absolutely delusional? Oh, he is, because he's a vegan diet. but. That's a different level of delusion. People get more educated and go plant based in their choices. Uh, the corporations yeah. and the government follow. It's literally a grassroots movement. I can really see that. What advice would you give to someone who wants to quit meat today? Start with one meal. Uh, convince yourself that you can make it through a dinner without any animal products. Uh, pick your favorite meal. You like pasta, uh, spaghetti, meat, pasta, try spaghetti with vegetables and mushrooms instead. Then you're a nice tomato sauce. You'll enjoy it. Uh, it that doesn't make any sense. The reason you would use mushrooms is to imitate the texture, you can't really say the taste of me, but if you put enough sauces and whatever on it, the same way he makes the barbecue tofu, you would try to trick your senses into believing that it is actually meat. But then you're just saying that you want the meat, but you're trying to trick your senses into eating something else and believing that that's meat instead. It doesn't when make any sense. When's it's the next collab? I have no idea. If human beings would naturally want to eat plants, then they would simply go to a bush or a tree and eat the leaves. But nobody does that. They don't understand how contradictory it is what they're saying. The best meal to skip if you want to do intermittent fasting. Oh, uh, I would not really say breakfast, but now there's Joel Kahn and others are saying, oh, you need to be eating breakfast and there's some evidence of that support. You simply need to eat when you want to eat. <laughs> That's it. That's how every animal does it. You don't need any so-called evidence or studies to tell you when you're supposed to eat. That's slave behavior. Yeah. You sure don't want a heavy dinner at 8 in the evening. And so late evening meals really should go there. Have your main heavy meal uh, at midday uh, and just a very light, uh, just a salad or bowl of soup for, for, for an evening snack and some fruit after that. Like get rid of a really heavy breakfast at the beginning and or the heavy dinner at the end of the day. The ultimate plant-based smoothie, what goes in it? Three ingredients. Greens, greens, and greens. Uh, no, uh, really, uh, uh, loaded, loaded the blender up with two thirds, you know, just pack it full of baby broccoli, baby uh, bok choy, uh, uh, baby kale leaves. You can buy tubs of them, load it up there. Um, they uh, put in a quarter cup of ground flax seeds uh, and some uh, and some almond milk for liquid. One banana or an apple, so it doesn't taste like one cookie. But basically, uh, wow, he admits that it tastes horrible. That's why you should add the banana, which is what all of the vegans do. Can you even call this a delusion? Is it not a mental illness? If you say that what's healthy is what tastes bad, Fill up the blender with uh, mostly what tastes bad, which means that naturally your senses are telling you not to eat it, but then add a banana to cover up the taste because in reality it is healthy. This is coming from a guy who eats rotten meat out of a jar. So, uh... <laughs> Let me see. His old channel was deleted, but I'm sure I can still find some clips. Uh, Sparage, rotten meat. It's two years and two months old. It's completely hard inside. It's like a candy or something. Okay. I'm gonna chew it. So, people always think it. What? Yeah. You would get food poisoning from eating a old rotten food, even though, of course. 
over I'm gonna eat over one and a half years old chicken. I made it in winter 2018. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy who's eating raw chicken that was in a jar for a year and a half. Rotten, covered in mold and slime and bacteria. Is telling you, obviously green vegetables aren't good for you because it doesn't taste good. And if something doesn't taste good, it's your body's nature telling you it's not good for you. Yeah, right. Healthy. We just need to cover up the taste of green flowers <laughs> and green leaves, which no human being in nature would ever do. No human being eats flowers or green leaves. Any kind of leaves is literally what humans don't do. Never. It would never happen. The minds of these vegans are so fogged, they are so removed from their natural senses that they don't actually hear what they are saying. They don't hear how contradictory it is what they are saying. The, the kale with seeds and uh, a healthy liquid, almond milk, oat milk, water, uh, and a little banana for sweetness. What would you say to someone who's concerned about their cholesterol numbers? Um, it's about the health of your arteries. It's the fried foods with the vegetable oils that have been sitting in the fryer all day. It's the grilled uh, burgers, and etc. Uh, the high fructose corn syrup, the phosphoric acid, the cola drinks, the uh, advanced glycation end products, and the baked goods and the junk food. That's what interests in the arteries rather than how much cholesterol your liver is churning. Sengoku donated to others. This woman actually knows how to lift. Let me see. Donation, Sengoku. Now, make sure your diet is whole food, plant based, that you're not eating anybody else's cholesterol, no meat or dairy. And trust your liver. That doesn't make any sense because what he said at the beginning is true pretty much. That's the problem when it comes to your arteries. But then he says that the cholesterol in the liver is not really a problem. But then at the same time, he says, don't eat animal foods, which I guess he's assuming would be cooked animal foods, which would be bad, although not as bad as he's saying. Of course, you should eat raw foods in general, no matter what they are, as I said before. It's just that he comes to the conclusion that you shouldn't be eating any kind of cholesterol at all. But if you're saying that the cholesterol in your liver isn't the problem, which is just natural cholesterol, lipoproteins, which carry around the cholesterol, LDL, to the place and then back with HDL, why would it then be a problem to consume animal foods which have the same kind of cholesterol as your liver produces? Then he should come to the conclusion that it's not a problem. He pretty much admitted that cholesterol isn't a problem. It's all of the junk that you're eating. Why would an animal foods be a problem? Too much cholesterol into your bloodstream as it needs to. Uh, the people who have, have heart attacks with high cholesterol are the ones damaging their arteries three times a day with a standard Western diet. It's not so much the cholesterol. It's, it's a mark. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Dr. Klaper's a fucking idiot. It's serum cholesterol. Anything that elevates serum cholesterol, whether it be your lifestyle, your dietary choices, stress, uh, your genes, it all contributes to heart disease. So cholesterol is a causal risk factor, not a indirect or associative risk factor. That is true. But then why not eat animal foods? What would exactly be the problem with eating this? It's what you're made out of. It's red meat and uh, there's the cholesterol right there. Why would it be a problem? We've been eating this since the beginning of humanity. Name one problem with eating natural raw meat. Yeah, it increases your risk of heart disease and early death and cancer and diabetes. The artery walls, got it. What was your most challenging part of your transition to a plant-based diet? Three or four years in, I developed tremendous meat cravings uh, and, uh, and I put some fish back in my diet to see if it would make any difference. Oh, wow. Wow. And that's funny because fish has more cholesterol, usually, depending on what kind of fish you eat, of course, than uh, the red meat. Uh, again, depending on which cut you're eating, but overall, it's going to be like that. And then uh, he's, of course, against cholesterol in general. But a lot of these vegans, plant-based people will cheat with fish, but they believe fish because they believe that fish is better, even though by their definition, it would be worse, even though, of course, there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't. I, I, I don't know, for, you know, a few times a week for a few months, seeing how I would get this great energy drink, and I didn't. And eventually... Then why did you keep eating it if you didn't feel better from it? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's not making any sense. Even if, if I, I couldn't eat fish anymore, and, uh, and, just, and eventually the, the, fangs, the uh, cravings went away. And I, my body shifted, some part of its metabolism, my microbiome shifted, my liver enzymes, just something changed in my body. So I, I felt terrible over it, beat myself up over it, but eventually it went away, and I just looked at it as a... It's great that he can admit it. Maybe he is somebody who doesn't cheat, if he actually openly talks about it, because most vegans would never admit to doing this. Hmm. Still, as I said, he looks... Yeah, Sverage uh, lately has claimed that I'm not vegan and I'm lying about it because I'm, like, big and strong, so he, he thinks I'm eating meat not telling anybody. It's really horrible, really degenerated. Uh, I guess that he really is, for the most part, a real vegan. Metabolic curiosity at this point, but it was, it was challenging. I'm a vegan in my heart, and it pained me to eat these fish, and it felt so good when I just... A vegan in your heart really just means a vegan in your mind, which means that you're brainwashed. You want to eat meat, that's why you have the cravings. It's literally you, your body, asking for it. You want the nutrients. And there's over 15 micronutrients which are not found in plants. Obviously, you crave the fish 
for a reason. You didn't crave fish, you probably craved red meat, but you, because of your brainwashed mind, talked yourself into at least eating fish. In reality, you just wanted to eat a lot of animal foods. That's just what humans naturally do. It's the same as a cow not eating grass, but then instead the cow will nibble on some leaves. Um, anonymous. It's the same as fish. The cow wants the grass, but the, no, the grass is unhealthy. It's going to raise uh, my cholesterol or whatever. <laughs> I need to eat the leaves instead. Just a few here and there. It's literally the same. Well, that just started all in. Nothing bad happened. Probably a lot of good happened from it, and you know it. What's one plant-based food you don't enjoy? Well, I'm not a fan of parsley or radishes. <laughs> I just, I, 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 radishes have a pretty strong taste. I never liked them, even as a kid, obviously. Uh, how could you even? I really I, like radishes. Radishes are nice. The parsley, of course. Parsley is inedible. Yeah, parsley is just... Um, that sucks. How could you possibly like it? But you advocate for eating green leaves. The video is insanely contradictory overall. I'd go with that. It's another thing. Put it on the there. If you could have dinner with any plant-based advocate, who would it be? Oh, Irving Yen. Uh, he is brilliant. I just love his discourses and how fearless he is. He's so sure uh, about how the, the right... He is very fearless. Uh, he's a true fighter. He's a real man. You know, so being vegan, that he'll take on any opponent uh, with any viewpoint. Ah, take on any opponent. I went to his restaurant. They didn't even let us in. They all hid inside. And the guy was nowhere to be seen. And they threw broccoli at us from the windows upstairs. <laughs> Seriously, this actually happened years ago. That guy hides from any real debate. He would never debate me. He knows that I would destroy all of his arguments. He knows you know, the, the, the Texas Rangers, I told them, I'm going to say, there's no stopping a man who knows he's right and keeps on coming. How do you handle criticisms about plant-based diets? They, uh, it's uh, from an ignorance point of view. And they just don't know. They're so asleep. And uh, you do what you can do. The best thing I can do is be good. The best argument against a vegan diet? I don't know what he means by a plant-based diet. Plant-based means that you're plant-based. Vegan means that you eat 100% plant foods. If you eat fish, you're plant-based. Maybe you could say, not even if you eat as much fish as he did. Point being, uh, plants don't have over 15 micronutrients. That's the best argument. It leads to malnutrition. That's why you need supplements. And supplements don't work, which is why after a while, whether it takes months or years, you realize that a vegan diet doesn't work. And that's why you go back to eating animal foods. And that's why over 80% of the YouTubers who used to make videos about veganism have quit veganism since then. It's not a sustainable diet, health-wise and in general. Is it abnormal to be conventionally attractive and still have insecurities and low confidence? Living in this storm of misinformation, and it's so easy to get seduced. And people love to, as Dr. McDougall says, they love to hear good news about bad health. You know, you know, reinforce it's okay to be eating meat, it's okay to be eating sugar. Well, okay. And, and they're going to get seduced by that, and I have compassion for them. You just speak your truth quietly and sincerely and be a good example. And they'll see or they won't see, but then that's not up to you. us. I run it. I love them anyway. Overall, the message that I get out of this video, and this is what you should also be able to see if you're a vegan, is that the guy was not doing good. That's why he was craving the fish. And of course, other animal foods, he was generally craving animal foods because, as I said, plants don't have over 50 micronutrients. It has to lead to malnutrition. And even besides the micronutrients, even macronutrient-wise, it's really hard to get what you want. And that's just because generally, naturally, we are supposed to eat animal foods. That's just what all humans eat in nature. The vegan diet is something very new. It only came about pretty much 15 years ago. There were a few vegans before that, but that's when it got popular because of the internet, mostly because of YouTube. And as I said, the YouTubers from back in the day, most of them have quit. And that should say everything because these guys... Yet, I am still here. Guys were hardcore vegans saying they will never quit veganism. Some of them had t-shirts saying vegan for life. It was all cool up until all of the health issues arrived. It wasn't simply only depression and not feeling well as in uh, some kind of mental issues. It was very, very severe. Digestive issues, IBS, Crohn's disease. Uh, they actually had pain, bleeding through the A. I'm not going to say the whole word. Some had eyesight issues. Uh, as I said before, they can't keep up a normal, natural weight which is why some of them became overweight, although most of them became underweight, actually emaciated. Some actually developed tumors. Like, what sense does this make? Sverige is claiming that a vegan diet will either cause you to be underweight or overweight. How? <laughs> Just how can it... How is a vegan diet preventing somebody from being somewhere in the middle where they're normal weight? but they can very easily be overweight or underweight. It's just, it's just fucking retarded. Kid Boo donated $2. There's still some cases of that going on right now. Crazy stuff. Um, and uh, it's especially interesting when you look at the digestive issues because uh, a lot of them had to get their colon removed and all kinds of problems just because of the fiber, which uh, the vegan sprays all of the time, but the fiber is indigestible. It's just the indigestible part of the plant. That's what fiber is. That's why you become constipated and have a lot of gas and bloating on a vegan diet. It's not that we are not. Yeah, so if you look at any long-term perspective cohorts, vegans have the lowest rate of constipation.
actually supposed to eat, the less fiber you eat, the less uh, problems you will have digestive-wise and the better you will feel overall. <laughs> it's interesting to see that this guy is still continuing pushing a vegan diet, but the video is not even very popular. I don't think that many people are really still falling for the vegan diet. Um, they just need to realize that it's dead. That's why most people quit. Thanks for watching. Well, Sverage is still an idiot.